Now listen to part of a lecture in a psychology class. It is likely that many of us form biased memories from our experiences. With that said, we can think that our memories are pretty much unreliable. According to the peak end rule, we remember our past in bits and pieces that focus on highlights or points of intensity rather than the average impression the experience gave us as a whole. For example, Let's say you are on a vacation with your family. You have planned to engage in some outdoor activities, and go on an epic adventure. But, you had to cancel all the outdoor fun, because it rained the first few days. You and your family were stuck in the hotel room, and the bad weather, and your bad mood have led to some quarrels with your husband. It was awful. However, the rain passed, and you were able to enjoy the outdoor activities, in the last few days of your vacation. The bungee jumping was exhilarating, and everybody had a splendid time. Everything was rosy. After that, when you talk to people about your vacation, you rarely mention the bad weather, and talk about the marvelous time you spent with your family. This is how peak end rule comes into play. Let me give you another example. Perhaps it's a hot summer day, and you are hiking up a mountain trail. Under the scorching sun, the trail seems extremely long and you consider giving up. Because you are a sedulous person, you continue your journey, even after a few falls that scraped your knees. What's worse, you have several bug bites on your legs, and arms. It's just terrible. However, after all the struggles, you arrive at the top of the mountain, and see the most beautiful view. It is breathtaking. So, whenever you think about the hike, you remember, the mesmerizing scenery you saw at the top of the mountain. The professor talks about the concept of the peak end rule. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain how her examples illustrate the concept of the peak end rule.